In this lesson, we will learn how to change the font of the text inside of Rive animations. Now you can change the font right within the editor as well, but that results in a larger file size because the font file is also embedded with the Rive file. Instead, we'll go ahead and use a custom font that's already being used in the app for our Rive animation. So let's go ahead and perform the same. So here is our Rive animation and we want to change the font that is right now it is using the embedded font, but we want this Rive animations text to use the font used by the app's other text. Now to change the font, we need the Rive file and for the Rive file, we need to use the direct method to display the animation. So let's go ahead and manually load in the Rive file. I'll go ahead and create a field to store the Rive file. It would be nullable. And then in the init state, we can go ahead and create a method call that is load Rive file. And then we can go ahead and define the same. It would be an async function. And now we can go ahead and use the Rive file asset method to load in our Rive file from the assets, which would be shimmer.rive. And then assign the same to our Rive file like this. Now, after the same, we need to call set state as well because by default it is null and we want the UI to refresh as well. And instead of the Rive animation asset, we will use the direct named constructor, pass it our Rive file and perform a quick null check on the Rive file as well. Now, if I go ahead and hot restart, you can see the animation that we saw earlier. So the first step is done. We have got the Rive file. Now we can go ahead and instead load in our custom font. For that, we need to take control of the asset loader. That is when the file is loaded, Rive loads in the assets as well. And to access that, we can use the asset loader. So it goes ahead and gives us a way to access the time when the assets are loaded. And here we can go ahead and instead say we want to load a custom asset instead of the referenced or the hosted assets. So here I can go ahead and use the callback asset loader. And as the name suggests, it will go ahead and call back a function whenever an asset is loaded by Rive. So I can go ahead and use a custom function here. So let's go ahead and define a method. So load asset or asset loader. Let's define the same. Its return type would be of future bool. Why that? Let's talk about that in a second. So it goes ahead and receives the asset itself, which is trying to be loaded and the embedded bytes. That is, if the asset is embedded, then we will get its raw bytes that is inside of the file. And now we can go ahead and define the function. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's return type of is future bool. So inside of the asset loader, we are trying to load custom asset, but sometimes we don't want the same as well and just want some assets to be loaded as Rive does by default, that is, a Rive file can have multiple assets like multiple images or fonts. And in this case, we only want to load in a custom font. So we can go ahead and by default return false. That is, we are not handling the asset loading and returning false. So Rive will go ahead and perform the same. But if we want, we can go ahead and just handle the loading of the asset ourselves and return true, which is for this asset, we can go ahead and check if the asset is a font asset that is of type font asset. The asset can be a font asset or a image asset. And in this case, we want to check if it is a font asset. And if that's the case, we will go ahead and handle its loading. And in this case, we can go ahead and return 
true. But for this case, we'll go ahead and by default, that is for the first time, let Rive load in the embedded font, that is the interphone that is embedded by default. And then we can go ahead and keep a reference for the asset that is our font asset. So let's go ahead and create a new field, which would be of type font asset. It would be nullable and we can just save the same. So let's assign the font asset like this. And now we can go ahead and later down the road, we can change the font asset using this font asset handle. So let's go ahead and perform the same. That is, I can go ahead and on a click of a button, we can change the font. So let's go ahead and define the same. So our font asset, we can go ahead and access the font property and give it a new font. Now we will have to go ahead and load in the font file ourselves as well. That would be the custom font. And inside of the assets, I already have a few. So let's go ahead and load this one, which is by default, the case for all the text in the app. So I can use the root bundle, load in the raw bytes of this file right here. I will flip the slashes. And this function would be of type async. And then we can go ahead and store the data like this. And let's go ahead and extract this as a new function. It would be much better. So change font. And then I can go ahead and define the same like this. And now we can go ahead and get the bytes usable for the font asset. That is, we will use font asset dot parse bytes to get the font asset usable for the Rive animation, which will be of type uint8 list. So let's convert our raw data to the same. So I can go ahead and create bytes and use uint eight list sub list view method to get the bytes we need from the raw data. So this is the processing and loading of the font file and then passing it over to our font asset. We'll have to wait for this to parse as well. And now we have changed the font asset that is the font inside the Rive animation. So we have gone ahead and loaded in our custom font and then converted it to the bytes required for the font asset and then applied that to the font asset. That is, we have used our custom font. So let's go ahead and auto restart. And now if I go ahead and click on change font, you can see the font has been changed. So I can go ahead and change it to some other font as well. Inside of the assets, you can see I have other fonts. So let's try them out. I can change the custom font file. And then I can go ahead and click on change font. And you can see the font is changed again. And the same will happen if I go ahead and use another one. So that's how you can go ahead and load in custom fonts. Now, if you want to load in font from the network, then you can perform that as well. So I'll go ahead and load in a custom font from the internet for that. I'll require the HTTP package that is HTTP like this. And then inside of a change font function, first of all, we will go ahead and load in the font file. So HTTP.get, and then I can go ahead and pass it the URL that is this right here. And then we can go ahead and wait for the same to be fetched. And then with the response we have got, we can go ahead and extract the bytes. Again, the uint8 list. So I can go ahead 
and use the responses body bytes buffer like this and pass it to the u and a list view method like this and now we have the same functionality i'll go ahead and hot restart just in case and now if i go ahead and click on change font you can see we have loaded in a custom font from the network to recap we have gone ahead and first of all manually loaded in the RIV file that is this right here and when we are loading in the RIV file we have specified a custom asset loader that is the callback asset loader in which we just get a callback whenever RIV tries to load a asset for the given RIV file and here we have gone ahead and said that if the asset that is being loaded is a font asset then we'll just keep a reference for the same now we can go ahead and completely add this bit in here and then return true because we have handled the loading ourselves and the file has been loaded so rive do not need to do anything to load that in but here we're just keeping the reference so that we can change it down the road so that's our asset loader and finally we have gone ahead and used the kept font asset handle and we have loaded in the font asset that we want to change with and then passed it to the font asset parse bytes that is the raw bytes of our custom font and then changed it like this so that's how you can change the font of the text inside of Rive animations in flutter